The surge has been going on for six months. We've lost more than 600 troops, costing the American taxpayers more than $60 billion. The escalation has done nothing to bring the Iraqi government together. It's done absolutely nothing to lessen the violence in Iraq. I think it's very important that the American people understand that we are going forward as we speak with legislation that has some teeth in it, that means something to the American people. The American people are outraged. They're demanding a change of policy in Iraq. We're going to do that. Our first two amendments are extremely important. Number one, the Jim Webb Amendment. Doesn't it make sense that if you're in country for 15 months, you should be out of country for 15 months? And with the Guard and Reserve, of course, you need longer time than that because it's the militia at home. We're going to continue pushing that, and we're going to continue pushing Levin Reed with 120-day redeployment guideline and a deadline of the first day of May of next year. But all troops need to be out of Iraq except for counterterrorism, force protection, and training the Iraqis. That's where we are. We think we're with the American people. The surge is not working. No matter how many different ways you explain it, it hasn't worked. Six months, 600 dead Americans, $60 billion.